Hi, this is Steve Lanier, Superintendent of the Franklin County School District. I would like to welcome everyone to our introduction to our teachers for the school year 2023 and 2024. It's going to be a great year for all Seahawks students, faculty and staff in our community. I look forward to having another great year. So welcome everybody. Hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon parents. This is Ms. Rawson, principal at Franklin County School. We hope that you have had a fantastic summer and we're looking forward to an amazing school year. We would like to invite our parents to our open house August 8th from 4 to 6 p.m. Please be on the lookout for more information through our mass communication, Facebook, and website. Some important changes you will want to be aware of include our attendance policy, dress code, and we're excited to welcome our tiny Seahawks all pre-K classes over to the main campus. Please feel free to contact us should you have any questions. We are looking forward to a fantastic year and as always, go Seahawks. Hello Seahawk family. My name is Tracy Shineski and I am the Director of Special Programs. Along with Miss Monica and Miss Tony, our department covers a wide range of topics. So if you have questions or would like to know about resources or just want some information, give us a call. We handle VPK, Pre-K, ESE, English Language Supports, Guidance, mental health, parent involvement, federal programming, attendance and truancy, alternative education, school choice, virtual school, homeschool, and many other areas. If you have a question, we'll do our best to help out. The team and I look forward to serving you. Have a great day. As we start the new school year, safety remains our top priority. Hi, I'm Anthony Kroon, the District Safety and Security Specialist. Driving and parking. It will be strictly enforced by school administration and unauthorized drivers will be enforced by school resource deputies. Authorized drivers must have valid driver license, copy of registration, and copy of insurance. Those items can be brought to the Dean of Students at orientation and you will be issued a parking pass. All vehicles must have a parking pass. Students are to park in designated parking. There will be no parking up front. In light of the new constitutional carry law, there are still places where you cannot possess a firearm, such as at school, school administrative buildings, and at school functions. I recommend that you take a look at Florida Statute Chapter 790 so you are aware of where you can possess firearms. All visitors and vendors must check in at the front office with a valid form of identification. Those form of identifications are this state or another state driver license, this state or another state identification card, a passport, or military ID. You would then be issued a badge to wear during school hours while you're on campus. If you do not check in and do not have a badge, it is considered as trespassing. At the Office of School Safety, we are committed to keeping the staff, Franklin County most precious assets, which are the students, and visitors safe. Have a safe school year. Hey Seahawk Nation, my name is David Hughes and I'm the CTE coordinator here at Franklin County Schools. Today I want to tell you about our CTE programs that we offer for our kids and our community. You guys follow me and let's take a look. First program I'm going to show you guys today is our drone program. Come on in. One of the really cool things about the drone program is we've got a flight simulator. We also fly real drones. In addition to learning to fly drones and drive underwater drones, if you happen to break one of these things, we teach you how to do 3D printing so you can repair it. We make all kinds of things with our 3D printers. So we're in our Building Trades and Construction Design Technology Program Lab. In this program, you're going to learn about the kinds of wood uh, that you use. You're going to learn how to construct and design things. You're going to learn safety with tools. The program is accredited through NCCER. That means that when you earn a credential, it follows you wherever you go. So carpentry can be a good path for you. So here at Franklin County, we have a nurse assisting program. 
In this program, you're gonna learn how to take care of people. You're gonna learn how to do CPR, blood pressures. You'll do a phlebotomy uh, program. We've got EKG and several other certifications that you can earn. So like my friends here, they, uh, they enjoy the healthcare uh, industry. Guys, say hello. Um, so if you're interested in a career in healthcare, this is a good place to start, right folks? Don't pay attention to that. This is the welding technology program. When you're in this program, you're going to learn several different welding processes. You'll earn several certifications that can get you employment right after high school. So it's a great program to be in if you're looking at starting a career. You can do it really fast. Let's go weld. Here at Franklin County School, we have a couple of things that you can do related to hospitality and tourism. One of those is our introduction to hospitality program in middle school, and then in high school we have the culinary arts program, culinary one through four. This is one of our kitchens. I'm over here today cooking up a little something, and uh, duh! So if you're interested in a career in hospitality, culinary arts, this is the place to be. We'll get you started. We'll teach you what to do and what not to do. See you guys in class. So there's a preview of the CTE programs we have at Franklin County School. If you guys are interested in taking any of these, see Miss Ross and see Miss uh, Copeland or see me and we'll take care of you. You guys have a great school year. And just one more thing, go Seahawks. For more district headlines, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Franklin County School District. Also, take a look at our website at franklincountyschools.org. You've been watching SNN, the Seahawk Nation News.